thanksgiving to give God lift up your voice and say father for all you have done for us we return all the glory to you appreciate this good God thank him bless him celebrate his faithfulness his mercies his provision his hand of intervention over your life over your family Lord, I return to give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you have poured upon this church, upon the winner's family, upon our lives, upon our business, upon our career. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Before this service will be over, barrier will break for you. I say again, barriers will break for you. Doors will open for you. That business will receive fresh favor. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That business will yet go forward. By the act of God in this service, your business course will be enlarged. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. It is my new dawn era. Congratulations. Put those hands together for the Lord. Don't forget today is our covenant day of business breakthrough banquet. And something will be released for you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Like I said in the first service, the love of God defines our true state spiritually mentally and physically you can't operate the love of god and seek spiritually seek mentally and seek physically hear this the love of god goes with the presence of God. And wherever God is present, evil is bound to be absent. Divine love releases divine vitality. Divine love affects us, affects our health physically. You can't be a carrier of God's love and every day you are depressed. You are in church and something still they pain you. For in his presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. If evil is still going on in your heart while you are in church, you came to represent Satan. Because scripture says, while the children of men gather, Satan also was present. Our head 
is sustained by the love of God at work in us. A merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a dry spirit crushes the bone. It takes a healthy spirit to secure a healthy body. It takes a healthy spirit to secure a healthy body. Abiding in the love of God is not his responsibility, it's your assignment. Jesus said, if ye abide, if ye abide in my love, Condition. Now, abiding in his love does not mean that you will not be offended. That people will not offend you. They will offend you, Boku. Even in church, self. Some people have stopped coming to church because maybe uh, he didn't like the way someone greeted him. Didn't like the way someone talked to him. It only shows that you are still a baby. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If you abide in my love, tell your neighbor you must abide. One young lady, she got married. Was it last week or week before last? Called that um, she want to go back to their house. Wait, now, why are you talking? Have you heard what I want to say? <laughs> that uh, she wants to go back to their house. That uh, the way the husband is behaving now, he doesn't like it. That every day the teen is paining her, he's paining her. That uh, she has called the mother. The mother says she should stay back. That if she's coming here now, what is she coming to do? That uh, she should solve the problem there. That that is her home. She should solve the problem. She now called me, Pastor, what should I do? You should know what I will tell her. <laughs> I will pamper her. Lie, lie. Scripture says, for this cause. Say with me, for this cause. <laughs> you have entered the cause. And that is the cause oh, oh, 001. <laughs> For this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave. Say with me, cleave. cleave. If you leave, you are not coming back. You have gone to cleave and cleave forever. For this cause, you took the cause and you have leave. So you are not coming back as leave. You have cleaved, so go and live together. Uh, Pastor, what, what? I say, he Christ. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? He the Christ. So I should confirm your living. <laughs> I said, find out what is wrong. I said, then break your leg. I said, my leg, they okay. I said, well, I need that and start praying. Start praying. Hear me, every woman here, your knee is your power. You, you are your husband's spiritual remote control. No woman can take your husband away if you have not willed it away. You can wind his head back on your knees. Say with me, on my knees. So you start praying. Whatever is the manipulation, begin to destroy it. Plead the blood of Jesus upon his heart. Scripture says, and these two shall become what? One. Not half. I say, you can call me for another thing. No, don't call me to ask me what is the Lord saying. What God says you do, stay there. A wise woman keepeth her house. A wise woman do what? Keep. So the keeping power is in your hand. And you know, women, they can pretend very well. She may not mention the one she don't talk. You know, their mouth is very sharp. Pra, 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 pra. You don't know the one. 
<laughs> Praise God. So I say, stay there. I'll keep the house. Keep the house. In Jesus' name. If ye abide in my love, say with me, you must abide. You must abide. Abiding does not mean that nobody will offend you. They will offend you many times. Don't go and carry it like a, a bag of cement and be walking like this. No! Lay it aside. Abide. Tell your neighbor, you must abide. Abiding in God's love is the reason why good is staying with you. If you don't abide in his love, good cannot stay with you because God will not be there. Wherever God is, that's where blessings are. Blessings are bound to flow there. Not one, not two. Abide. Tell your neighbor, abide. abide. You must abide in his love. When love begins to fade away, your spiritual state cannot be guaranteed. When the love of God begins to fade away, your spiritual state cannot be guaranteed. Your mental state cannot be guaranteed. Your physical form can no longer be guaranteed. One proof to know that God's love is beginning to fade away in your life you no longer think normal. Dotty, dotty. Mumu, mumu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thoughts is what fills your heart. You wake up in the morning, the first thing that occupies your mind is evil. Know that God has left you. The love of God has left you. And you know, thoughts are that powerful in that once they begin to occur, they can form what we call stronghold. Stronghold. Why? Because you are not seeing it. So the thing is growing for you. It's growing for you. It can be thought of bitterness, thought of depression, thought of anger, thought of revenge. It keep growing, keep growing. Thought of oppression. You know, Satan oppresses people with bad thoughts. It's satanic. Why? You allowed it. Once love fades away, another thing must take place. Another thing must take place. That is why it is your responsibility to secure the love of God in you. Every one of us here has the seed. Say with me, the seed. Scripture said, the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. So the seed of God's love is inside every one of you here. But you determine whether it is nurtured. You determine whether it will grow. You determine also whether it will fade away. You determine it. Proverbs 4 verse 23, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. If you don't guide it, you may lose it. And losing it may scatter things for you. Maintaining it, hear this now, maintaining God's love is positioning you for secrets. Now, let me tell you, if you are in a relationship, you pay a price to maintain the relationship. Am I correct? You pay a price. You are responsible for that working relationship and you are also responsible for the failing relationship. If a relationship fails, check what you did. Check what you did. If a relationship is working, someone is guarding it. Someone is protecting it. You can only protect a relationship when you know what you are getting from it. 
You can only lose a relationship when you don't value what you are supposed to get. Am I saying something to someone? Likewise, when you know the value of your relationship, you guard it jealously. That's why you can see some women, when they sense that another woman is trying to encroach into their magnetic field. <laughs> you don't feel me, eh? <laughs> They will not tell the husband no, that they have gotten your number. If you die this number again, eh, if I catch you. <laughs> it's happening in life. Oh. It's happening in life. There was one that happened in Benin recently. The lady sent some of Bolobo boys. They flogged the girl. Eh? <laughs> she was there. Flog her. They flogged the girl. Eh? Say the next time, if I tell you, leave my husband, your ear go correct. <laughs> but you know, some girls, they are very stubborn. They concern you. And they ain't going to look for me. They go. You go soon jump with you, they look for Just they go. <laughs> Praise God. When you value your love, you protect it. You guide it. Your love for God, you are the guider. You guide it. You defend it. You make sure nothing scatters it. Protecting it is not just protecting you, it's to make sure that nothing cuts off your flow. Nothing cuts off your flow. The blessings you are enjoying. The deeper the love, the deeper the secrets. It takes love to enjoy the flow of secrets. Any love that will enjoy lasting secrets must have been tested. If someone says he loves you and he has not been tested, it will, it will, soon, it will soon be exposed. When we say we love God, God tests us. Jesus even, te even tested Peter. Simon Peter, love us me more than this. Master. You know now, you two, you know. Me and you, there. You two, you know that I love you. He said, if you love me, feed my sheep. After the third time, he said, when the cock crow, we're going to know whether you love me. Because the way they see you, they go now. They go soon deny me. Peter shouted, the blood of Jesus. Me deny you. Nah, lie, I can't deny you. Do I don't follow you, Rich? Now hear me. Even naturally. Eh? Even naturally. There are some people you, you thought that you love or you are loyal to. You will be tested. You will be tested. Just wait. When the cock crowed. After Peter had gone to hide, he cried. He said, oh, he said it. I didn't know that this is what he was saying. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, protect your, protect your love. Defend your love. Defend your the reason why you are protecting it is to make sure that nothing cuts you off from the inner secret you are enjoying. Inner secret. Destinies are made of secrets. Destinies are made of secrets. Anyone destiny that you see shining now, a secret made him. A secret made him. Nobody just suddenly rise. Anyone that succeeded in rising, 
someone has brought him to the point of lifting. This is the way. Ministry has secrets, not occultic secrets. So. Access to information that is not available to others. Yes, the Bible is available to all, but not all is seeing what is inside there. Am I saying something to someone? And one rule of life, when you know what others don't know, you will get what others can get. When you know what others don't know, you can dare what others can't dare. When you know what others can know, don't know, you will go where others can't go. Our love for God sustains the secrets that we enjoy from God. The secret things belong to the Lord. But the things revealed, they are for our children's children. The things revealed. So God is a revealer. And Jesus said, if ye abide in my love, I and my father, we come and make ourselves manifest in thee. Everyone that gives himself continuously for praying kingdom advancement prayer in the secret enjoys what we call open decoration. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You are giving yourself consistently, persistently, praying for the kingdom, for the advancement of the house of God. Nobody is seeing your imputes, but at the time of announcement, people will be asking, how come about this? But they will not know that you have been involved in praying. Lord, build your church. Lord, let there be signs and wonders. Lord, let your word make impact in someone's life today. Lord, cause someone's barrier to be broken today. Lord, open the door for this family. Nobody saw you when you were praying it. But when it is time for decoration, everybody will see you. Everybody will take notice of you. And you know, testimonies has a way of announcing you. When the acts of God starts manifesting in your life, everybody will be interested. But hear me? If you don't pay your price now, you may not see your glory tomorrow. Kingdom advancement goes with a price. Say, with, say to your neighbor, it goes with a price. What you do to ensure kingdom advancement is what triggers your own advancement. I repeat it again. Maybe you have not heard it from me. God is a do me, I do you God. You do for me, I do for you. If you are interested in my house, I will be interested in your house. David said, my love and my affection is set towards the house of my God. Let's read Haggai chapter 1. Haggai chapter 1. Haggai chapter 1, studio. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet unto Zerubbabel the son of Shiltiah, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Josadek, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, These people say, The time is not come. The time that the lost house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, and this house lie waste? Now therefore, thou saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. 
You have sold much. I'm bringing little. Ye eat, but ye are not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled. We drink, ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it in a bag with holes. Thou saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. God is not a stammerer. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house. And I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified, saith the Lord. Look at the next verse now. You look for much, and lo, it came to little. And when you brought it home, I did blow. <sighs> Why? Say the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is waste, and ye run every man unto his own house. My house for your house. If you are not interested in my house, I will not be interested in your house. You may walk like Jackie, and you may not end well. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Why? My house, consider your ways. Jesus said, where a man's heart is, that's where his treasures are. There is treasure in this place. Our treasures are here. What determines what we handle per time is determined by the treasure we are digging here. It's the things we are doing here. So if we are out to make sure this place move, this place grow, this place bloom, God will make sure you too, you will bloom. God will make sure that you will flourish. God will make sure that you don't lack any good thing. Psalm 84 and verse 11. Psalm 84 and verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shade. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing. Say with me, no good thing. Will he withhold from them that walk uprightly? No good thing. No good thing. No good thing. No good thing. In this labor there is houses. Not house, houses. And much more scripture quantified it as goodly houses. So you will build goodly houses. Amen. You are not even saying amen. amen. Maybe if you are not saying amen, maybe in a boy squad I go get. Say a good amen. amen. Yes, now there is boy squatter now. Lazarus was in a boy squatter. May you not end up in a boy squatter. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. No good thing. No good thing. No good thing. What is good thing to you? No good thing. He said again, he will satisfy our mouth with what? So you won't eat chaff. You will eat correct food. You will eat tantalized food. Amen. Somebody is not uh, saying amen. amen. You will eat pepperized chicken. Amen. You receive it. <laughs> you better receive it, oh. I say you better receive it, oh. You are not born again to suffer again. That suffering mentality that is in you, I cause it in the name of Jesus. From today, begin to see good things. I say, see good things. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Your call to salvation is not a call to suffering. Neither is he a call to lack. It is a call to a glorified life. So it must be better for you here. Please someone should say better. Amen. But for it to be better for you, you must take your love for God. Stake. Love is a stake. And you know in business, when a business is flourishing, what they do is they increase their stake. Am I correct? They increase their stake. You increase your stake because you know what will be flowing back to you. 
when you are not sure of what will flow back to you, you withdraw. But when you are sure, man, and this one is a sure deal, if they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity and their days in pleasure. 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 So your life is getting more pleasurable. More pleasurable. One unique thing about the love of God, like I said in the first service, once your love for God is established, you have struck a partnership deal. God now become your partner. Now hear me. In business, partners matters. Did you hear what I said? Your partner can give a picture of where you may end tomorrow. Your partner in business can give someone an estimation of the success that can come for you. Am I saying something to someone? Your partner matters. No wonder everyone is looking for a right partner in business. Everyone is looking for a partner that will boost the business. Everyone is looking for a partner that is a bulldozer. Everyone is looking for a partner that no one can say no to. Am I correct? Your partner matters in business. You can't partner with God. And the business is going slow. Like I said in the first service, your partner will determine how far your business will go. When God becomes your partner in the business, breakthrough is not an option, it's a must. It's a must. Every year becomes a plus on the previous. When men are saying there is a casting down for your business, there is a lifting up. Why? Your partner. Nothing goes down when your partner is with you. Greater is he that is in you, that is with you. God is not only in you, God is with you. Who is with you matters. When God partner with you, impossibility is deleted from that business. They may say no to others. They can dare not say no to you. I might say something to someone. What gives God the partnership position in your business is your tithe. When God is involved in your business, because you are a tighter. One million gang up can kill their business. Whether the witchcraft meeting took place by 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., the business can die. Why? I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversary. I will be an enemy to your enemies an adversary to your adversaries surely they shall gather but not by me anyone that gather against you they shall fall for your sake amen. if you are saying amen say amen. amen i said again i'm not interested who gathered against me or who didn't gather Gathering is a confirmation is that you will go down by my hand. Gathering is a confirmation you are about to fall for me. I have a partner. I am a tighter. He will kill you to make sure the business go forward. Uh, 
<laughs> oh Lord, they are rising up against me. Shut up! If God is your partner, watch out, all of them will go down. God can be your partner and your business is suffering slow motion. No way! The God that moves above the speed of light. We are not in works because your partner is there. Things will begin to work. You must know who your partner is. In the first service, I talked about the four Ds. We have three D and we have four Ds. Number one is partnering with God. Number two, your partnering with God will compel your divine helpers. There are people that are ordained to help you make it through. Why? You are partnered with God. Number three, you can't miss your angelic helpers. And number four, you must get connected to prophetic helpers. Testimony was read in the first service. A lawyer partnered with God that every month will be giving 130000 to make sure that they are bringing new converts to Canaan land. And the heavens opened. And he went to God's servant for him to just pray for him. And God said, God's servant said, you are blessed. When the word comes, you are blessed. From a prophet land upon you. There is a divine switch that has been turned on. Heavenly, naturally, it must work. Because he believed the frequency of his legal business took a new dimension. Things began to work for him in a strange frequency. Strange frequency. Strange frequency. Believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophets. So shall thou prosper. Prosper. Now let me say this for the second service. Your partnership with God opens you up to what we call a lifetime of limitless favor. Limitless favor. When your heart, <laughs> he said... <laughs> He said, gather them that takes pleasure in my house. Psalm 20, 35 verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified which hath pleasure in the prosperity of who? He prospers those who takes pleasure in his house. Who takes pleasure in advancing his house. It is favor for favor. Favor is a crucial factor. Favor is a major force for business breakthrough. Psalm 44 verse 3. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thy arm and the light 
Can you see all the combination of things? All the things that favor can bring about? And the light of thy countenance, because thou hadest a favor unto them. You will enter that class today. Yeah. Favor is a force. Favor is a force. Don't remove that scripture. Favor is a force. A major force. A major force. That am. The right hand of God is glorious in power. You will tread down all your enemies. And the light of thy countenance. So they are enjoying God's hand. God's creative wisdom. By the force of favor. So when favor is at work, your business will not go local, it will go global. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. Favor is stronger than connection. Favor can give to you what connection cannot give to you. Favor is stronger than money. You can have money and your business did not prosper. But you can't have favor and lack money. Never. When favor is at work, money must flow. So that is why one of the worst challenge of business is for you to suffer disfavor. If you are suffering disfavor, you have a major challenge. A major challenge. Because when favor is at work, even your enemies, they don't have any choice. Scripture says, when a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes his enemies to be at peace. Go rest. Your enemies will rest. I don't like your face, but I don't know why I'm giving it to you. Do you know why they are giving it to you? Favor. Say with me, favor. One of my son. <laughs> Do you know why they are giving it to you? It's not because you are the best driller. Favor went ahead of you. Turn their hearts in your favor. Even them themselves, they cannot even understand why they are even giving it to you. Should I shock you this morning? Favor is a spirit. I know many of you don't know. It's a spirit. When it comes upon you, anywhere you step into, you cannot be rejected. Whatever you are doing, it may not be the best, but it will be accepted. Why? The spirit of favor is an impartation. When it comes upon you, no wonder. Look at what Isaac did to Jacob. The Lord give you the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth. Possess thou whatever you want to possess. So favor determines the limits of your business breakthrough. Not effort. It's not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of God that show it mercy. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. Which spirit? Spirit of favor. So you need the favor of God for your business to be breaking through in impossible climates. Let me say this. Favor is the seal of divine goodwill. When God favors a person, it's like I'm saying I wish you well. Divine goodwill. When you are backed by divine favor, Favor is a back, you know. That's why people that are favored, there is nothing you can do to see that they go down. Instead of them to go down, now you go go down. I'm telling you the truth. You, you can't make a favored man, one that has been favored spiritually, to go down. 
Instead of him to go down, you will go down for him. Look at Joseph. The favor of God was with him, even in prison. The favor of God was with him, even in bad places. And finally, finally, he got to the throne. And he said to his brothers, when they came, he said, I am that Joseph. I am that Joseph. You don't jump me now. I am that Joseph. I go show you paper today. <laughs> Say, can you remember me? You meant it for evil, but God turned it around. Hear me, when you are favored, anything anybody is doing against you, God is turning it around. It is scriptural. Anything anybody is doing against you, God is turning it around. When you are in God's list of favor, fear people that are favored by God. Because fighting them, you are losing your own. You are losing your own. Every one of us here stands the chance to be favored. Wasn't Esau favored later? But what connected the favor? The, there is a connectivity between favor and prophetic blessings. I will major in the third service on the breakthrough power of blessings for business in the third service. But let me just do this one now. Third service, that's the relating I preach. There's a connectivity between favor and prophetic blessings. Oh, Naphtali! Satisfied with favor, full of blessings, possess thou the west and the south. So when favor come, because blessings have been released upon you, you begin to break forth on every side. You begin to break forth. Breaking forth on every side. Prospering on every side. Conquering on every side. Through faith. Through faith. Every time a blessing is released upon you, favor to possess, to conquer, to go forward, to advance has been released upon you. Don't forget I said, favor is a spirit. Every time the blessing is released upon you, the spirit of favor will follow you. Let's confirm it. In Genesis chapter 26, 27 from verse 27. Genesis 27, please be very fast. We are going to rise up to pray very shortly now. And he came near and kissed him and smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, Pause. I have blessed him. Therefore, look at what will happen. God give thee of the dew of heaven favor, of the fatness of the earth, enlargement of course, and plenty corn and what wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be, say amen. Yeah. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that cursed thee. And blessed be he that blessed thee. Verse 30 now, and it came to pass. Let's pause now, we're not going to this. When the blessing goes, favor follows. Like I said before, believe the Lord thy God, and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall thou prosper. Your prophet determines your profit. If your head like, accept it. If your head like, don't accept it. No prophet or no pastor can force you to believe him or to accept him. You determine when you believe and you determine when you accept. Like I said in the first service, Using the case of 
Bishop David Oyedepo, our papa, when God told him, get down to my servant, at Bishop Benson in Dahosa, he has something to drop in you. Papa said it in one of our meetings that he said he's not going. With all the evil he has been hearing about him, that time they were branding Archbishop as a cocaine pusher. But it was a setup. You know, then every cocaine pusher looks for who they don't normally check at the airport. Those days, there are some people they don't check. If they confirm your personality and your integrity, they don't check you. So they sneaked the team around his bag. Making him look like the suspect. But they too, they knew it was, a, it was a game. That was how the matter died. You see, with, but you know, newspaper, they know how to blow it. They overblow the something. They were now branding him as a drug pusher. So the thing went viral. God said, no, with all what I'm hearing, I'm not going. And God thundered, do you know him more than me? Do you know him more than me? That question confused him. Because there is one that knows you beyond others. Some people may think they know you now. And be looking for every available means to blackmail you and rubbish you. They don't know you. They don't know you. You don't know me. It's just like where... One pastor was insulting one of my prophets. I said in his front, repeat it now, I will slap you. Repeat it. Repeat it now, if I don't slap you. My name is not Pastor Tony. That was the last day he opened his mouth to talk rubbish. Who you don't know, you dare not talk rubbish. If not, you carry a curse. And immediately, Papa looked for the phone number of our bishop and called that um, is coming to see him. Yeah, yes, my son, God told me you were coming. If he had listened to what evil sayers, just like we prayed in that book of Titus, there are people whose mouths God must seal. God must seal their mouth. Oh. If he had been listening to evil sayer, he would have missed that prophetic blessing. Hear the blessing. He said, Nida, I impart upon you the gift of on time. Before a need arise, the supply will be on ground. Is he, is he working today? Is he working today? When prophetic blessings come upon your business, it's like heavenly hosts. They carry the business. And they, want, they are the ones moving it forward. They are the ones opening the door. They are the ones compelling men to favor their business. Why? There is a lifting hand. I say to someone here, your business will not suffer lack of favor again. <laughs> hear me and hear me well. You have struggled enough. It is time to go forward. Amen. Today you will begin to go forward. Amen. You are not saying amen like a believer. Amen. Rise up to your feet. I'd like you to pray. You just have one and a half minutes to pray this prayer. They got not the land in possession by their arm. Lord, let your favor rest upon my business. The limit of your favor will define the limit of your breakthrough. Lord, let your favor rest upon my business and give it progress. Lift up your voice and pray right now. Let your favor Let your favor rest upon my business.
let your favor rest upon my business. Let your favor like the dew of heaven fall afresh upon my business. Let your favor fall like the dew of heaven upon the walls of my hand, upon my career, upon my assignments. Let your favor fall upon this church. Lerande Keteria, Zeso, Likato, Pele, Deshanara. I will, I know. Liendo Bredi Shetola, Pezoza, Liata, Bekale Roshanate Ta, Ilakoterian de Pre, Lekoto, Disoneretalia. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. All eyes closed, all eyes bow. Before the blessings will be poured, you are here, you are not born again, but you want to make it right with Jesus wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer from, with me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus.